You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, B&B fans, we've got to talk about the major action in the Thomas Forster and Hope Logan storyline and the forces aligning against them. This is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I want to talk about whether these two should just elope and avoid the coming firestorm of conflict. But please click subscribe if you haven't. And now let's dig in. So I feel kind of like Thomas is contradicting himself with Hope. I noticed he proposed to her and then settled for her putting that gorgeous diamond ring on a chain around her neck. And he told Hope that he'd be patient and wait for her to decide she's ready to put it on her finger. But then on an episode this week, Thomas seemed like he may be losing patience, not in like an angry way, but just an eager way. After they made love for the first time in a couple of weeks, Thomas basically re-proposed to her and asked her to put the ring on her finger. And she seems really close to saying yes. I mean, by my eyeballs. And honestly, I think her mom, Brooke, having a fit about the whole proposal and making demands and ultimatums is actually pushing Hope towards saying yes when left to her own devices, she may not. I really suspect that Hope is going to say, I love you, and put on Thomas's ring during February sweeps. Then again, that's also when we know that Xander Avant is back on the scene, slinging accusations and making trouble for Thomas again. But if Hope keeps that ring on her finger, I can totally see Thomas pushing her to make it official fast and go ahead and get legally hitched. Considering, you know, how many people are aligning against them, I feel like all it will do is draw Hope closer to Thomas. She seems to be circling the wagons and it's us against the world, that kind of mentality. He really wowed her with that promise to always love only her forever and to make sure she feels safe with him for always. And Thomas isn't going to let Hope slip through his fingers if he can do anything about it. And I'm sure Thomas and Hope might like to get married at the Forrester Mansion with their friends and family surrounding them, but you know that that wedding would get boycotted. (laughs) Like when Eric married Quinn, remember, it was just the officiant who was played by Perez Hilton, if you forgot, and Ivy Forrester in attendance. So I, I cannot imagine who would show up to Brooke and Thomas's wedding. Douglas Forrester, of course, and Rich Forrester, and Eric Forrester, and so maybe Donna Logan. But I suspect pretty much everybody else would boycott or stand outside with pitchforks and torches screaming like a wild mob. So instead of having no one, almost no one, at a mansion wedding, why not elope? I mean, Thomas and Hope could go to Vegas in an afternoon. It's like, what, a 30, 40-minute flight, maybe less, from L.A. to Vegas? Or they could head down to the L.A. County Courthouse. You know, as long as they don't get married in her cabin with just the kids there like she did with Liam Spencer, because that'd be super weird to repeat that, right? And if Thomas talked Hope into eloping, you know, that could be pretty soapy. You know how everything secret leaks out on Bold. So if Thomas and Hope plan to run off and get married, you know, I could imagine Brooke Logan racing around, desperate to find them, desperate to stop it. Ridge racing around, trying to stop Brooke from stopping them. Finn in the mix making more declarations about protecting Hope. Steffi racing to find them to protect her brother from hope would be another facet of it. I really wonder if Brad Bell's going to let this Thope romance go all the way to I do and man and wife. There's been a painfully slow burn to get to the point that they're at where Hope is on the cusp of committing to him. And, you know, fans that ship Thomas and Hope are going to be angry if it sputters out. I'll say that. It's hard to imagine Hope married to Thomas and Brooke finally being forced to accept him as her son-in-law, just like it was hard to imagine Stephanie Forrester ever accepting Ridge being with Brooke. I mean, at this point, it feels kind of like they're channeling Stephanie into Brooke with her opposition to them being together. Ridge kind of hinted at that a couple of months ago, this passing comment, you know. And oh my gosh, can you imagine Liam finding out that Hope and Thomas are planning to elope? 
Honestly, I will say this. I'm not sure if he'd even show up to do anything about it unless he thought he might run into Steffi, you know. The last elopement that I can recall on Bold and the Beautiful was when Ridge was with Shauna Fulton in Vegas during one of his many relationship walkabouts when he wanders away from whoever he's with and goes and does things with other women. So we do know that B&B has a, you know, eloping wedding chapel Vegas set because we've seen it. Of course, Ridge and Shauna were not legally married. They were just hammered drunk and went through the motions. Really, if you think about it, though, Thomas and Hope don't need a big wedding. They've kind of already been there and done that, even though it ended up in an annulment. So I almost think a small thing like an elopement would be easier. And it sounds like something Hope might do intentionally to shock her mother. You know, like if Brooke started her usual, you need to give Thomas back that ring. You'll never be married to him, you know. And then Hope opens up her phone and shows her mom a picture of Elvis officiating their wedding. I mean, that could be priceless. I just did a video about who will get married first on Bold and Beautiful in 2024. I will drop a link to it at the end. And in it, I talk about whether Hope and Thomas will beat Ridge and Brooke down the aisle. I mean, that would be kind of funny, wouldn't it? For Brooke to be protesting the engagement and Hope already goes and gets herself a new husband. I suspect Hope is softening up and getting ready to accept the ring and Thomas fully into her life. And I suspect part of the reason she will is because she's so hot for him. She's not willing to let go of the best nookie of her life with a man who thinks she walks on water. I mean, that's hard to walk away from, right? I saw something on Soap Social Media the other day that tickled me, though. They were talking about the scene where Hope mentioned things she likes about Thomas, like that loyalty and that he's steadfast and someone said she was describing him like she was talking about a dog that was pretty funny um so you have to do the calculus though you know thomas is hot can't deny that he's fit as heck he is so muscular he's talented he's apparently a miracle worker in the sack because hope cannot get enough and said it's never felt like that before (laughs) And Thomas adores her, and I don't think he'd ever cheat on her or even look at another woman. I mean, you know, she could do worse. And I know his past doesn't look good, but seriously, the man had a brain issue and got neurosurgery and then intensive psychotherapy. We got plenty, plenty of other sketchy people on B&B who have done as bad or worse and haven't gotten medical treatment or therapy. So, you know, what do you think? Will Thomas and Hope have enough of their detractors doing all the naysaying? And will they just run off and get married? Will Thope elope? Let me know what you think. Please click subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely drop your comments and come back soon because we are here talking B&B seven days a week. And as always, it is Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 